The word genocide was coined in 1944 by Raphael Lemkin. It is the first word in the English language to denote something that's been around for all of history. In France, it was known as populicide, and in Germany, as folk murdering. Genocide is the age-old action of wiping out large groups of the local population. Whether it be for economic reasons or non-compliance, genocide is always motivated by political power. The 10 stages of genocide is a model of the genocidal process. We can use this model to clearly demonstrate the level of genocide many of us are facing today. Stage one, classification. All cultures have categories to distinguish people into us and them, whether it be ethnicity, race, religion, or nationality. Classification is seen everywhere. It seems to be an innate mechanism of the mind. And America has a great way of keeping this mechanism in check. E pluribus unum, which is why America is such an obvious target of the emerging globalist society, and why we have been divided into two succinct groups, patriots loyal to defending the US Constitution and everyone else. Stage two, symbolization. Words such as Republican, Libertarian, and Oath Keepers have now been redefined to mean racist, domestic terrorists, and extremist. Symbolization makes the work of dividing the people much more efficient. And once divided, allows the compliant group to participate in the genocide against the patriots. Stage three, discrimination. The dominant group uses law, custom, and political power to deny the rights of the targeted group. Private multinational corporations have monopolized all social discourse on the internet and have been blatantly discriminating against patriot voices for years. We are also beginning to see signs of the coming discrimination against the so-called unvaccinated, who will soon be turned away for not having the official symbol on their mobile device, proving they are a member of the accepted group. Stage four, dehumanization. The compliant group is conditioned to deny the humanity of the group being marked for extermination. They are made to believe that patriotic Americans are ignorant, evil, and inherently racist, and that they would all be better off without them. Dehumanization overcomes the normal human aversion to murder. Stage five, organization. Genocide is always organized, usually by the state. And the emerging globalist society we are seeing today is highly organized. They control all of pop culture, the media, and big pharma. They are most likely the most organized tyranny in all of human history. Stage six, polarization. With the previous five stages in effect, the people are now ripe for complete polarization. Moderates are intimidated into silence and it becomes accepted that the targeted group must go. The dominant group passes emergency laws granting them power over the targeted group such as the National Strategy for Countering Domestic Terrorism. Now that the people have been conditioned to accept that patriotic Americans are now domestic terrorists, the stage is set for genocide. This is where we definitely are today. Stage seven is preparation, when plans are made for the relocation, arrest, or extermination of the targeted group, which is most likely already happening. Stage eight is persecution, when the targeted group begins getting arrested and separated from society. There are already hundreds of innocent patriotic Americans imprisoned indefinitely for protesting the stolen election of 2020. Stage nine is extermination, when the mass killing begins. And stage 10 is denial. Denial is the glue that makes all of this possible. It is what has gotten us this far along this dark path so far and it is the only thing that will carry it through to the end. There is no government or United Nations coming to save American patriots from this genocide. It will be up to the people alone to defeat this emerging global dystopia.
Thank you for watching. 